Hello my dear friends welcome back to Infigyan. In this video we are going to solve another very very interesting question from exponential equations for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing one powerful exponent property or law a power b times c can be written as a power b and whole power c and second property which I will use here a power b plus c this may be written as a power b times a power c. Let's apply. We will get 8 power 3x times 8 power 2 plus 4 power 3x times 4 power 3 minus 2 power 6x times 2 power 3 equal to 1. Now 4 cube is 64, 8 square is 64, 2 cube is 8. So we can write our equation 64 times 8 power 3x plus 64 times 4 power 3x minus 8 times 2 power 6x equal to 1. Now we can use another property a power b times c, a power b whole power c. So I can write 64 times 8 power 3x can be written as 8 power x whole cube plus 64 times 4 power 3x we can write 4 power 3 whole power x minus 8 times 2 power 6x we can write 2 power 6 whole power x equal to 1. Now 4 cube is 64. 2 power 6 is also 64. So I can write 64 times 8 power x whole cube plus 64 times 64 power x minus 8 times 64 power x equal to 1. Now 64 minus 8 is 56. We can write here this is 56 times 64 power x. Let me write here 64 times 8 power x whole cube plus 56 times 64 power x equal to Now 64 power x can be written as 8 square whole power x and using the same exponential law I can write this is 8 power x whole square. So our equation will be 64 times 8 power x whole cube plus 56 times 8 power x whole square equal to 1. Now we will assume our substitution 8 power x equal to m suppose. So for real x m must be greater than 0 or positive. We will write our equation in m 64 times m cube plus 56 times m square equal to 1. Let me write here 64 times m cube plus 56 times m square equal to 1. Now if I will check for m equal to 0 then it is not satisfying our equation. So I can write m cannot be 0. So I will divide both sides by m cube. This side also divided by m cube. So we will get 64 plus 56 times 1 over m equal to 1 over m whole cube. Now we can use our substitution. Let us say 1 over m equal to a. Once m is positive, a must also be positive. 
so we will reject all the values of a where a is negative or zero so let us consider our equation in a 64 plus 56a equal to a cube or i can write a cube minus 56a minus 64 equal to 0 a cube minus 56a minus 64 equal to 0 now this is one cubic equation i can use method of factorization i will be splitting our middle term as a cube minus 64 a plus 80 this will give us minus 56 a minus 64 equal to 0 now from first two terms i can take a common from last two 8 is common so once a is common in the bracket we will be getting a square minus 64 which i can write minus 8 square here I will take 8 common, so in the bracket I will get a minus 8 equal to 0. Let's apply difference of two squares formula here. We will get a times a plus 8 times a minus 8 plus 8 times a minus 8 equal to 0. Now a minus 8 is common. We will take a minus 8 common out. In other bracket, we will get a times a plus 8 plus 8 equal to 0. Or I can write a minus 8 times a square plus 8a plus 8 equal to 0. So here I will apply product 0 rule. From here we can write either a minus 8 will be 0 or a square plus 8a plus 8 equal to 0. So from first equation I will get a equal to 8. Let's solve our second equation. So I will consider a square plus 8a in LHS and I will take 8 to RHS it will become minus 8. Now I will add 16 to both sides. Now LHS will give us one perfect a square. This is a plus 4 whole square. And RHS will be 16 minus 8 is 8. Or I can write a plus 4 whole square equal to 2 square root 2 whole square. Now we will consider square root both sides. a plus 4 this will be equal to plus minus 2 square root. Now take away 4 from both sides. We will get a equal to negative 4 plus minus 2 square root. Now 2 square root 2 is smaller than 4. So both the values of a in this case will be negative. And condition on a was a must be positive for real x. So I can write here both the solutions will be rejected as we are looking for real solution. So accepted a value will be a equal to 8. Let me write here a equal to 8. Now a was our substitution. So I can write here 1 over m equal to a. So here I will write 1 over m equal to 8 or m will be equal to 1 over 8 by taking reciprocal both sides. Now m was also our substitution 8 power x. If I can write here 8 power x is equal to 1 over 8. If I can write 8 power x equal to 8 power minus 1. Now bases are same. 
will compare exponents. So I will get x equal to negative the only real solution for the given equation. Now we will cross examine. So let me write here check x equal to negative 1. So I will begin with LHS. This is our LHS. So I will write 8 power 3x. So minus 3 plus 2 plus 4 power 3x. So I will write minus 3 plus 3. Minus 2 power 6x will be minus 6 plus 3. So here I will write 8 power negative 1 plus 4 power 0 minus 2 power minus 3. So 8 power negative 1 is 1 over 8 plus 4 power 0 is 1 minus 2 power minus 3 is 1 over 8. Now 1 over 8 and minus 1 over 8 will be over. We will get LHS equal to 1 and this is also our RHS. Hence our solution is verified. So the only real solution for our given equation will be x equal to negative 1. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.